Okay, I'm going to do a short um, review of how to do problem P4-2, which has to deal with hole and shaft tolerancing for running clearance type fits. So the example um, from the homework uh, is shown here on the screen. If we zoom in, okay, the example is for column A, which is a basic fit, 0.25, that means the, the shaft and whole pair combination is going to have a basic size of about 0.25 inches. This is for inches. So the first example uh, for A is RC3, which is running clearance 3. So you're going to use the, um, the proper table that's in the appendix for running clearances. All right, and I'll show you that in a second. All right, so if we go ahead and we look at the example, okay, here you see um, the hole and the shaft, here's RC3, and you pull the numbers um, off, of the, off of the chart, and those are the table values, right? You pull that off of the table to find out what the um, limit should be. So where are those located? All right, we'll go ahead and take a look at the table. Here's the table. Okay, so we have, um, we have RC3 class here and the nominal size is 0.25 which falls between 0.24 and 0.40 so um, you just take this row you come across and it intersects with the column the RC3 column the first part is for the holes and the second part is for the shafts okay so shafts are here holes are there so what is it saying well our limits are going to be from um, you're going to add 0.6 okay 0.6 thousandths of an inch to the basic size and then you're going to add zero um, thousandths of an inch to the basic size to get your whole size. Then you're going to subtract 0.5 from your shaft and subtract 0.9 thousandths of an inch from your shaft basic um, size. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at the example from the homework. All right, so here we have 0.6 and 0 for the hole, and negative 0.5 and negative 0.9 thousandths of an inch for the shaft. All right, so now it's a real simple exercise to determine the limits. You can take the basic size and just add these numbers from the table. So the basic size is 0.25. We add um, point, uh, 0.0006. Remember. 0.6 is thousandths of an inch, so 0.2 here would be tenths of an inch, 0.5 or 0.05 would be hundredths of an inch, and here's your thousandths, and then um, this would be 0.6 thousandths. Okay, so that's how you come up with this limit. Then you're going to add zero to it and do the same thing, so that's just your basic size, 0.25 plus zero is 0.25, then you're going to subtract 0.5 from it. That's 0.5 thousandths, so 0.25 minus 0.5 thousandths is 0.2495. Now remember, the shaft should be smaller than the hole, so you can get a running clearance on it. And then you do the same thing with your 0.9. Okay, so that takes care of the RC3. All right, so um, what about this L2 or LC2 over here? What is that? Well, if we go to the next slide, you'll see what that's all about. So um, for the next example, the table values are here, okay, for LC2. I'm going to show you where to find that. So we're going to look for LC2. We're going to look for the basic size of 0.25 in the LC um, uh, table. All right, so let's go to the next. Okay, here's your LC2 um, table. Okay, location clearance table. All right, and you can see again, here's um, the nominal size is 0.25 again, so that goes between 0.24 and 0.4 for location clearance fit. We come across, we find the LC2. All right, so here's the LC2. And again, it goes 0.6, 0. Um, let's zoom in on it. This isn't as good of a scan as the previous one. 0.6, 0 for the hole limits and 0, negative 0.4 for the shaft limits. 
So there again, we're talking about location clearance fit. So that's a different appendix than the previous one. And you'll find all the appendices in the back of the book. You'll also find them for metric. I hope that um, helps you do this homework assignment well. And let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.